Good morning, Vans Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday after the Monday open that was not as scary as everyone thought it would be. Um, today we got CAD CPI. That CAD chart looks pretty interesting. Um, first, let's go to crude. Talked about it on Twitter yesterday. It looked a little bit overextended down at 65 bucks. Traded down to 64.47. Now we're back up at 67. That's a turn bar, people. Uh, long, long legged. Trying to <coughs> kind of hammer at the top. Pardon my coughing. We just did intervals in the fucking mountains. The biking season started this morning. Holy shit. I'm fucked. Anyway, crude looks like it's turned. A lot of this now all depends on what happens on Wednesday, whether they do it with some kind of like hawkish raise or dovish raise or whatnot, so whether it's risk on or risk off. But that does look like a turn. Tricky now. Um, maybe you try and accumulate if you get on the 66 handle. Uh, otherwise, just sit tight. Gold talked about being long yesterday we traded it from the long side we were nimble it worked out we're still accumulating gold <clears throat> we kind of feel like um, gold could take a trip to 1940 so 4050 looks like the lower bound here especially if he raises so you want to be core long but core long enough so you don't have to puke if it goes down to 1940 which is tricky right um, so this is why we're trading for averages here. We're just nimbly whipping in and out of this shit. Um, small core on here at 76, uh, which will sell if we get up to 86 or 90, keeping even a smaller core on. Um, but uh, could get back down to 40. You see it's 2.5 sigma up here. Uh, today is 82. Let's go to Euro Swiss. Fucker. Of course, we bought this yesterday. Uh, 98.80. Just got, didn't have the patience for it. I don't know why the fuck we didn't hold it, but we didn't. Um, I think we took a two pip loss. Anyway, it's doing what it should do. There's problems in Switzerland. Uh, the Swiss franc is not as much of a safe haven as it used to be. It's still a safe haven, but not as much. So uh, Euro Swiss is a buy on dips. I have no idea where. Turns out I suck at Euro Swiss. So anyway, dollar yen. We talked about being conviction sellers between 70 and 20. Um, we were rewarded with that. We went up to like 78 before the fix, what was this? So, went up to 82 before the fix, back down to 03. I just got back from the bike ride. Right? I don't know what this bar is. I don't know why, I guess it's a short squeeze. I don't know what it is. We're gonna be a little more careful here, um, reselling, probably look to resell 95s to start. Um, giving ourselves space and room um, to have some freedom to sell up at 132.40. Uh, it's been a good little run, short dollar again for us, so we're feeling pretty flex about it, and we'll just have to see, take it moment by moment. Let's look at treasuries, 131.70, 350 in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, um you know we don't think we don't think rates are going to be able to last uh on the high end here like this whole crisis and then all of these all the other elements that we've been talking about all week so we're buyers of 10 years uh we used 350 yesterday and but we were going to feather into anything up to 360 Obviously, we only get a tiny position on, but um, 
this is also a key theme and it's it's you know long gold short dollar yen long treasuries um it's all the same trade so be careful while risk managing this um but this is what we're thinking let's pull up this dollar cad chart from the dailies just an interesting sequence of um lows here at 136.50 <coughs> oh my god that bike ride killed me this morning um cad cpi today like all CPIs, they're looking for it to come in a little bit lower. Obviously, oil's been crushed. Uh, but if this does come in hot, 136.50 is a very interesting point. Euro Norway, uh, you know, we're always trying to sell Euro Norway. We had some offers up above 50 yesterday. Oil seems to have turned. European rates uh, are coming off. Euro Norway looks like um, a good sell somewhere here. I don't know, maybe 11.44. Um, that's interesting to us. Talked about cable yesterday above 122.03. Took a while, but eventually it worked out up to, I think, 86. Now back down to 50. Um, cable's bid. Again, I think it's just bid because it's out of out of people's frontal lobes. And it's just turned into like... the econo has the economic significance of Reykjavik now. Um, so nobody really cares. Uh, and that's good. I mean, uh, as my Japanese friends always ruefully tell me the nail that sticks out gets hammered um, this nail is not sticking out and so it may float a little higher so uh, cable buying on dips we don't mind that let's see here dollars are we talked about if you had to buy dollars yesterday dollars are was your horse uh, that worked out right dollars are all kinds of problems and protests and I don't know why the French or the South Africans don't protest like the Swiss the Swiss protest all the time but they're very fucking efficient about it right they're like all right bang half a day we're gonna protest we're gonna close the streets down we're gonna march it's gonna be tidy we're not gonna break any buildings there's nothing on fire they make their point they make their march and then they go fucking back to work uh, you know I'm supposed to be meeting some people in Paris at the end of the month. And we just canceled the trip. Like, we're, we're going to go to London because Paris is just a fucking war zone. I mean, what are the secondary consequences for your entire country, for your tomfoolery? I don't know. Like, it's hard to buy czar is my point here. Thank God there's no French francs out there anymore. We would never fucking buy that shit either. Um... But dollars are in the middle of nowhere now. So I'm just going to stop with my rant and uh, move on. Back to stocks. We like selling this on a reach higher uh, up into sort of 4020 or between 4020 and 4040. We're going to sell this. You know, obviously there's risk around, it's lurking. You know, it's like Snuffleupagus, Big Bird's uh, secret friend. Um, who's always stoned. This is the risk. Uh, he's just the elephant. He's the stoned elephant in the room. Um, so between 4020 and 4040, we're going to sell some spoos. All right, listen, uh, not a ton to do here right at the open. We're obviously going to try and buy some tens if we get yields back 350 or higher. We're going to sell dollar yen if we can get some high ones. We're core long gold. Good luck out there, people. Catch you tomorrow. Ciao.